Good evening, everyone. Today we are back with another case of gynecology. This is the eleventh case, and it is a case study on Bartholin's abscess. Our patient is a twenty-year-old female who had complaints of vulvar swelling, pain, and she is unable to walk properly due to discomfort. She noticed a lump a few weeks earlier, and in the last two days, it has enlarged and become painful. She cannot walk properly and has not been able to wear tight-fitting clothes due to the discomfort. Our patient is sexually active, uh, and she has been active since the age of eighteen years. She uses Depot progesterone injection for contraception and therefore does not have periods. She has had unprotected intercourse with multiple partners. and she had a sexual health screen in a genito urinary clinic one year ago and the result was normal and there is no other medical history of note and she takes no medication objective data on examination the temperature is 37.7 degree celsius her heart rate is 68 per minute and blood pressure is normal her abdominal examination is normal there is a left sided posterior labial swelling extending anteriorly from the level of the introitus introitus is the entrance of the vagina uh, measuring 6 into 4 by 4 cm it appears red fluctuating tense and is exquisitely tender to touch bilateral tender inguinal lymph nodes are noted inguinal lymph nodes are the lymph nodes that are present in the groin area so the patient has tender lymph nodes and she has a swelling extending anteriorly from the level of introitus assessment on the basis of subjective data objective data and examination the final diagnosis was made to be bartholin's abscess signs and symptoms pain during walking sitting or sexual intercourse also known as dyspareunia swelling and discomfort need of therapy in this patient to provide symptomatic relief to prevent complications and to prevent patient's quality of life about the disease uh, firstly a little info about the bartholin's glands the bartholin's glands are located in the posterior vulva and the gland ducts open into the lower vagina to maintain a moist vaginal surface important during intercourse so in this figure this is the bartholin's gland and it provides a moist area near the vagina obstruction to a duct by inflammation from friction during intercourse or infection causes a cyst to develop which commonly becomes infected usually mixed flora is found but in 20% of cases gonorrhea is isolated the diagnosis is clinical and it is important to differentiate a bartholin cyst from the differential diagnosis of a sebaceous cyst which is caused due to accumulation of sebum under skin vaginal wall cyst uh, this cyst is caused near the vaginal wall or perianal abscess which is caused near the anal region bartholin abscesses are relatively common and cause acute painful unilateral vulval swelling The mainstay of treatment is drainage of the abscess and marsupialization of skin edges. The pulse that is obtained from the drainage should be sent for culture to identify the cause of infection. Let's learn about the management and intervention. The abscess must be drained traditionally by formal incision and drainage with the edges of the cyst capsule sutured to the skin. to prevent reclosure of the duct also known as marsupialization uh, this is the surgical opening of the cyst to cause the drainage of the abscess and to form a pouch like structure which enables which enables proper drainage this is the bartholin cyst usually formed near the labia and there is a surgical cutting of the cyst performed and a pouch like structure is formed here so that the drainage can occur alternatively a word catheter can be inserted for 4 weeks which acts to allow continued abscess drainage and encourage epithelialization of the tract to provide a long term drainage route for the gland 
In most cases, antibiotics are not needed after drainage unless there is surrounding erythema or systemic signs of sepsis are present. Usually, the smaller cysts are asymptomatic and they do not need drug therapy. But if the cyst is large and it is painful, especially accompanied with infections, antibiotics could be used. In this case, the girl has had several recent partners and a general sexually transmitted infection screen should be arranged after drainage of the cyst with general sexual health advice. She should also be advised that Bartholin's abscesses may recur even after marsupialization. So that's it for today's session. Thank you for watching this video and please share. Thank you.